friends, Beth the Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. So here's part two of answering the question of how do I customize my interlock squares? I don't want to make five by fives all the time. I have another video out, probably be right up here, that shows you how to do it the horizontal way. This is the diagonal way. So you start at the corner and work. Work your way up. I have two different ways that you can figure out your math. See, so this is the one I did before. This is the horizontal one, so you're going to have little diamonds going across. That one's already done. This is for the one where it starts in the corner, and then you work two, then you work three, then you work four. So I put this one away, and I'm going to tell you my magic math. This is the easiest math that you will ever do. Remember, you want to go up hook sizes. Yarn B, Sugar Wheel, Cotton Solids. This is a three lightweight and it wants a four and a half millimeter hook. I'm jumping up to a six and a half to keep this lying flat. Otherwise, if you don't use the right hook size, you get a big curly Q mess. And that's not nearly as much fun as having it lie flat and be pretty. So I've got my six and a half millimeter hook and I have two ways to do this. This is amazingly simple. You just need to decide how many you want this to be across. I don't want to do a five by five square. I want to do a 10 by 10 square. Okay, here's a 10 by 10 square. There are two ways to do it. Notice I did my pink. This was all a chain. And then I did my work in here. Just to prove that my math will work for you, I did not have any extra, nor did I have too few. I had exactly the right number of chains. So for the classic interlock diagonally going this way, our math is how many posts do you want times two plus two. Done. That's it. How many of these do you want? So this will work every single time. The number of posts that you want, and this is going to be a square, so this is ten by ten. Number of posts you wanted to be across times two plus two. That's it. So it's 10 times 2 is 20 plus 2 is 22. Well, and here's the typical 5 by 5. So it's 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Chain 12. But here let's make it a 10 by 10. So our numbers, our math is very simple. However many you want to have across here, we're going to have our square. It's a 10 by 10 square. So 10 times 2 is 20 plus 2. Chain 22. End of story. And then the next question is, how many do I pull up when I start working this chain? You take your number, which in this case was 10 plus 1. So you pull up 11 every time. Just like when you're working on the 5 by 5, the typical one, you pull up 6, pull up 11, pull up one more. So that's easy peasy. Again, 10 times 2 plus 2 is 22. That's my chain here. Way number 1. Here's way number 2. This one is so much easier. Okay, this one is simple. This one is even easier. How many posts do you want to cross? 10 plus 2. Okay, 12. How many posts do you want to cross? Well, this one was a typical 5. Chain 7. Whatever number you want here, plus 2. Easy peasy, right? And then what you need to do is pull up, just like we did on this one, is your number plus 1. So here would be pull up 6. Here is pull up 11. That's 10 plus 1. Easy peasy. Times 2 plus 2. For this one is the number of posts you want across, plus 2. And your pull up on this one is this number plus 1. And the pull up over here is the same. Pull up this number plus 1. If you do not know interlock and you want to learn interlock, I am loaded with them in my playlist. I have reversible, I have horizontal, and I have diagonal. Remember this one is diagonal. The one that I showed you first, horizontal, you can find that one somewhere too. I have that one available on my playlist. So in my playlist I show the detail, I go a lot slower, and I show exactly how to do the process of interlock. Here I'm just showing you some math. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. I have more interlock projects coming that I love. I've got mittens, hats, sweater. Oh my gosh, it's going to be great fun. So 
See you later. Thanks. Bye.